Now, the June 1st to November 30th hurricane season is closely watched because the storms are a threat to oil and natural gas interests in the Gulf of Mexico and agriculture in the south. We're talking a significant amount of the economy could be affected by these storms. Well, Tim Andreessen is managing director of agricultural commodities and alternative investments at the CME Group, and he joins us now live from the CME. Tim, great to have you on here. Many people may not realize that there are weather derivatives or what they are exactly. So let's start there. Tell us a little bit about this market, its history, how long it's been around. Well, Lisa, the market started in the 90s uh, pretty much over the counter, but has grown significantly in terms of the products that have been offered. CME Group's been involved since 1999. We've offered products on heating and cooling. Um, in last year or two years ago, we started offering products on snowfall, last year on precipitation. And for a long time, we've offered products on hurricanes as well. So there's snowfall, rainfall is a recent product that you have. But tell me a little bit about who the buyers are, or the users of these types of derivatives, and why not just use insurance? I mean, we've heard about a lot just recently about insurers because of the catastrophe in Japan. Yeah, it's, it depends on the product. For example, the heating and cooling products are pretty much used more by the energy industry, where the energy industry is trying to manage uh, volumetric risk around, for example, the amount of, of um, heating oil they would sell or uh, the amount of electricity they would sell. Uh, precipitation products are more kind of event event type of products. So, uh, for example, suppose you had an event where you had people coming to it and you had a fixed cost, a country fair or something like that, and you wanted to ensure that uh, if it got rained out, you'd have the revenue, you'd use a product like that. Snowfall, the customers tend to be people who are providing snow removal services or salt services or, you know, more end users like that. And I understand the way these options are structured is that, or the derivatives are structured, is around binary events, which is a very technical way, I think, of saying that it either happens or it doesn't. Is that correct? Correct. Correct. The, the more popular product is very much one like that where the customer pays a premium up front and then there's a known payout if the event occurs or the event doesn't occur. So um, it could be some accumulation of snowfall or precipitation or heating or cooling degree days depending on the product. Uh, now, Tim, we just talked about this hurricane forecast that was released. Are you seeing an increase in the volume of trading as a result and how does the market respond to that kind of a report? Well, when you, when you get, a, get reports like this, so we're looking at a year now that's maybe a little bit less than last year, but definitively above average, um, you know, we start to get a significant increase in customer inquiries as people start to look to put positions on. You know, a lot of the customers are already starting to look at doing things. You know, we've had a couple of significant transactions already this year. Um, and what we would expect is as you get closer to the season, people are more and more interested in getting protection on. All right, Tim, thank you so much for joining us today. Interesting, shedding some light on a topic that we don't often talk about, weather derivatives. That was Tim Andreessen. He's Managing Director of Agricultural Commodities and Alternative Investments at the CME Group.